Hey guys, welcome to Tech Tutorial. Today, we're going to talk about how to create an online course using ChatGPT. It is a step-by-step -step guide to follow easily, and don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. So let's dive right in. If you've been struggling to transform your expertise into an engaging online course, then you're in for a treat. I'm excited to show you how to combine the power of AI with your knowledge to craft an impactful learning experience. So in this video, we're going to be using three tools, mainly ChatGPT, Google Sheets, and with the help of Canva. So to start a project in here, let's do a quick overview on what is ChatGPT. So it is a state-of-the-art language model developed by OpenAI. It belongs to the GPT or Generative Pre-trained Transformer family of models and is specially designed to generate human-like text based on the input it receives. GPT models are trained on a massive amount of text data from the internet, enabling them to understand and produce coherent and contextually relevant text. Now let's test it out how it would work. So we'll outline what we'll cover. Our course will consist of three phases, each containing three modules. In total, we're building a robust nine-module course, and it won't be a mini-course, we're talking about a full flagship course. Now let's start by asking ChatGPT to build us a nine-module titles for our course. So we'll just type in onto the bottom part in here, ChatGPT, can you give me nine titles for a module course titled How to Build or Create an Online Course? Now ChatGPT is already generating its response. Let's wait for it to be finished. Now, let's see what ChatGPT has come up with. It would be best to review what it generated and also feel free to customize these titles based on the specific focus and that you want for each module in your course. Now, since we have already the title for the modules, which serves as our foundation, now let's head over to the next step. So we will create the three case steps on each title modules. So you'll just need to type in ChatGPT can you give me three steps each on how to accomplish each modules? Then click the arrow on the green box or click enter to generate. Now let's review what is its response. Now for module one titled Introduction to Online Course Creation, we can see three case steps in here. First is understanding online learning, identifying target audience, and setting clear course goals. So these case steps will ensure we create a unique and valuable course. Now what we'll do next is let's dig deeper into each action step. So using ChatGPT, we can elaborate on these steps, giving us a more comprehensive plan. For example, we'll define the subject matter by outlining specific skills or knowledge, identifying the target audience by researching their needs and learning preferences, and also analyze the competition to make our course stand out. So here's what we're going to do in here. We'll focus first on the first action step or case step that we have in module one, which is understanding online learning. So we'll copy that one. And here's what we're going to type in here. Chat GPT, can you give me three steps to accomplish this? And then paste what you copy, which is understanding online learning as well as the explanation for this. Then again, try to review all of the details first onto what it generated. Now we have all our action steps or case steps laid out. What we're going to do next is we'll try to combine or organize them so that it would be easier to bring them to life. So this will actually depend to you. So you can choose any website or any app in there to store in all the information that we've gathered. And here on my end, I'll try to use Google Sheets. So the reason why I've chose this website is because it organizes information that you've gathered and it offers advantage of easy accessibility and collaboration from any device. It is also structured grid format that allows you to categorize data effectively while features like data visualization, search and filters aids its analysis. So integration with other Google tools enhances efficiency and automatic backups ensure data security. This streamlined approach simplifies your course creation process and facilitates informed decision making. Now, for the next step, we'll try to move in all of the information that we've gathered to our Google Sheets. So we'll copy and paste them in here. So we'll start up with a module, then right after we'll add in the case steps. And then lastly, we'll put in the three steps to accomplish each case steps. So what we're going to do in here is we'll divide them into three colors. So we're going to be using the 
darkest one for the module title then for the case tabs we'll use a lighter one than the module color and then lastly we'll use the lightest color for the three steps now as you can observe we've already finished the module one and we've used the orange color for that now we're trying to do module two with the color yellow so just repeat the process and you could choose a color for each module now let's go to the next tool which is canva so the reason why i've chose canva is this is a versatile and user-friendly graphic design platform so these are used by individuals and businesses to create visually stunning and professional quality designs without the need for advanced design skills. With an intuitive drag and drop interface, Canva provides a wide range of design tools and templates for various purposes, including social media graphics, presentation, poster, flyers, logos, and more. Whether you're a seasoned designer or a novice, Canva offers an accessible way to bring your creative ideas to life, enabling you to craft eye-catching visuals that capture attention and effectively communicate your messages. It is a valuable tool for anyone looking to enhance their visual content and make a memorable impact across various digital and print platforms. Now, it's time to import this data into Canva's data feature to generate the slides. So this seamless integration saves us time and effort, making the slide creation process a breeze. So you'll just need to click on create a design, then click on presentation. So you'll be redirected to the editing page and here onto the left side, you'll be able to see that there are a lot of templates that Canva offers. So you can try to choose which one suits your style, then just click on it. Then right after that, you'll just need to customize them to align them with your branding and enhance engagement. So you'll add in relevant images, graphics, and icon to illustrate key points. Remember, visual plays a vital role in keeping your learners interested and informed. But most importantly in here, so make sure to put in all of the informations that we've gathered earlier through ChatGPT. So just paste them in there. So let's start with the title. So it needs to be in the first part or in the first page. Then choose another design in the templates for another page for the key points. Then lastly, create another page for the three steps on each key point. You'll just need to repeat the process from copying it to pasting it into your Canva. So as you've noticed, we tried to copy it through ChatGPT and it was really confusing. So this is where the Google Sheets will help. So it is more organized, making it faster for you to copy and paste all the information that we've gathered. Now just click onto the two arrows below to do a quick preview onto your presentation. Finally, click on share to download your presentation. So just choose the format that you prefer. And congratulations, you've successfully made an online course with the title, How to Build or Create an Online Course. Thanks for tuning in and don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And until then, happy course creation.